Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna go over um, the season five. The name of the season five is um, Season of the Forge. <coughs> so it started uh, this week. So we got some new quests, some new just every stuff, some new engrams to go over. So if you go into Test Everest, we can collect this and then uh, go in and look at the new stuff right here. Here's the prismatic matrix you can put in to get the new stuff right here. I'm gonna go over all of those things in the other engram. So if we press triangle on this engram, we can actually see all the new stuff that's here. Let's start with armor. Uh, so this is the new armor set for um, the PlayStation exclusive. Looks really cool. This is the Titan one. And this is the Hunter armor and the Warlock armor. You can only see the specific armor for your character on the screen when you are that character. So this is the Titan one and if you want to go look your own, just sign into your character and then go look. Um, the ornaments, <coughs> this is the ornaments, uh, it's the new one, f uh, this is the Callous Promise. Uh, is, is this a new weapon coming? I think so, I don't know. Uh, this is a new ornament, Desert Camo for the uh, Mida Multitool. This is a camo for um, oh, what is it called the um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's called the Achilles Field Tuning. Uh, this is a new Sirius Chrome for the Sirius Regime. Uh, this is a new ornament for the Thousand Voices. This is the new ornament for the two-tailed fox, uh, cuddly throwback. This is a new ornament called Tangled Paladin for the for the exotic sword we have in the game. I don't remember the name totally. And this is a uh, ornament for the Ace of Spades. Salute to the colonel, C colonel, colonel. <laughs> so hard to say that. He has a chicken on this side. Looks really the same, just a new logo on it. So that's the Ace of Spades. Um, King, King, Kingmaker. This is for the Queen Breaker's bow. That was really sick. This is the. Um, ornament for the new uh, trace rifle uh, it's called he he judgment and if you're gonna go look over those uh, legendary weapon ornaments you can go look at them here's some ornaments for the exotic armors uh, the lordly home mage uh, ten taunts Imperial, a jumented wish, ritual crossroads, eyes of the mercury, and the matter fell all year. It's so hard to say those names though. But she did a really good job to come up with those names. And then the ghost shells. We have the Pusk Punk shell. Really cool looking one. Let's look at this cool ball. No, that's this one. <laughs> I had a look on the side. Okay, so this is the uh, Rust Punk Shell. It didn't look so cool to me. And this is the Neon Helix Shell. That This is the one that looks like a disco. 
people. This is the future perf perfect shell. Looks like the Siva just with white and blue. This is the Sanctum Plate shell. Ooh. Looks like the um, ice from um, when you go in the caves on uh, on Mars. Hell Basin. Here are some legendary ghosts you can go look at. I don't want to go over all of them. Uh, if you go over the emotes, we have four new exotic ones. The Pyre Pyric Victory emote. Really cool. The uh, let's chat emote. The nothing is wrong emote. I think this is an emote that's gonna last forever. Just sitting there. That's cool. Uh, s'mores? Is that the flipping thing? No, that's the, what? Oh, marshmallows. Grilling marshmallows. That's so cool. Okay, that's all the uh, emotes. I can go over the legendary and the rare ones, but here you are, you can go look at them. I didn't want to go over any, every one on, of them. And then the exotic sparrows. Here's the Apro King Infinity. This looks like a Harley. Same as this uh, Burnout. Um, this looks also like a Harley. We have one of those looking like this. Just This is a new one with the flames on it. Really cool. And the bar Bronco. Hmm, looks cool. Here's the uh, legendary ones. You can go look for yourself on it. The ships. I uh, once scored Autori, Autori. This is the one that was supposed to drop in Warmind, I think, uh, and I didn't get to release it, or in I don't know if in Forsaken maybe. Yeah, it was Forsaken, and I couldn't release it because of some bug or something about it. And we have the uh, ADA One S Long Wolf. It's a really weird name for a ship, but okay. Ultra rear. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it's okay. Not the coolest one. Here's the legendary ones. Go look. Shaders. Uh, some new shaders. This is all the shaders. The Dead Sea Junt. And Champion to Wash. Uh, Lilac Bombast, we went back, Calco's Finery, Sunrise Warrior, so that's the new ones for Black Armory, uh, and then last is the mods, I don't want to go over those ones, but it's some of the new mods for the weapons or armor or something like that, I don't know, no this is the mods for the ghost. This is the uh, landing e emote things. Okay, so that was uh, Test Severus, I think. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. And each she have a bundle. If you buy this bundle, you get 5 um, etched engrams, and 25 bright dust, and 3 fire team medallions. And she also have the all the other stuff I did go over right here, you can still buy the climbing boon of the vanguard 
and the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible and the Fire Team Medallions here. And you can also get the bounties, and this is the two bundles for the ornament for the Thunder Lord. The next thing I want to go over now is the uh, new quest for Savala, Shax, and the Drifter. Hello, Guardian. So let me just pick up those uh, bounties for Savala. Savala still have the same bounties. Uh, this is the new quest where you have to get uh, 500 fusion rifle kills and arc kills in strikes and you also have to complete 40 strikes. I'm going to show you the loadout for this. I'm going to pick it up. And this is uh, another quest for the nightshade, the auto rifle I think. I don't know. I think it's the auto rifle, yeah, nightshade. You have to complete 30 uh, vanguard bounties. So, the recommended loadout for the strikes that is um, the um, horror story. Um, but if you're gonna uh, do the um, fusion rifle, I, I recommend this main ingredients. It's really good one for shooting a good beam on the enemies, explodes and for arc and if you have this on arc it's really good and you also have a thunder roar that's arc and that's a really good uh, machine gun so why I, I chose that auto rifle is because in gambit you have to get 500 auto rifle kills so Shax he have a quest uh, I haven't totally got over that quest. Um, I can look it up real quick. Glory rank reach, it's the first thing you have to do. I think that's only 50 points in competitive. So it says, um, after step 1, reaching glory uh, rank brave, S uh, step 2, each objective earn your progress per action in any playlist and players can earn substantial bonus progress by completing these objects in the competitive playlist in the crucible, earn grenade launcher final blows, 750 total points non-competitive playlist kills 3 points in competitive and com in no non competitive playlists that's 3 points so if you play quick play and you get kills you get 3 only points competitive playlist kills you get 10 points for each grenade kills um, and then the next part rapidly defeat groups of 2 or more opponents 200 total points uh, Non-competitive plays 2 points, uh, substantial kills after double uh, plays 1 point, competitive playlist 5 points, and uh, double plays 2 points, earn calculated trajectory medals 100 total points, non-competitive 1 point, competitive 4 points, step 3, reach glory rank fable within a season, and then you get the weapon. And then if you go over to the Drifter, he's also going to have a step for you to complete. What's that, so you can pick up the bounties like before. And if you go to this thing, it says 500 auto rifle kills, auto rifle multi kills 100, challenging enemies defeated 150, matches complete 40 in gambit. So that's why I recommend the um, this um, horror story for the gambit, and then you can equip a shotgun if you want to, and then turn lord or anything else. 
I will thank you all guys for watching this uh, season uh, 5 introducing so every other uh, characters or no I mean uh, uh, vendors have uh, the same uh, stuff like before so you can only go pick up the bounties from the other guys and then just steal the gunsmith is the same the faction hasn't hasn't even been something new with so yeah I will also make a new video about how to glitch into a new area it's right here somewhere and yeah that's that's gonna be something new for next video and if you want a hint it's the annex the new area in tower it's a glitch to that area right now that area is behind this door so I will thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys later